everything has changed for me since I started going join the reading group in the first place. So everything else has absolutely just changed, totally changed. For me, it has. You know, the reading groups, the voluntary work, the reading out loud. I've never done them things. The opportunity came and I just <laughs> jumped at it. When I accepted myself and I realised, look Siobhan, what's and all, you're not that bad a person, don't run yourself down, you know. And other people aren't that bad, be tolerant, be compassionate, you know, understand people, try and listen to them, you know. I was retiring and I wasn't quite sure whether I was ready to retire and all that. Um, and this has definitely filled the gap. It, it just fills that gap of not feeling useful to, to society, really, and, 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 and I, this, you feel you're making a difference. I think that the residents love them coming in and they look forward to Wednesday mornings and without it, their life is not as enriched because the poems are all different every week about different topics and I can also take my activities out of the poems and do other activities interlinking with the poems that we've done. That's what people don't understand about the reading group. How it can help people in everyday life, living your life. No matter what they've gone through, they don't seem to understand, you know, how it can help. And that's why I want to try and make people understand and get involved. But it's given me a lot more confidence because a couple of years ago before I started work I always just had no confidence. Believe it or not, I was shy before I started. Yeah, and I didn't do all this. You blossom. I've really come out of myself now, yes. Yeah. Well, I suffer yes. from depression and um, because I know that they are dependent many a time, I think only once in three years I've not been able to go. But um, you know, I've been under the duvet and thinking, no, I've got to go there. They're depending on me to be there, and it has helped. It's made me get up, go to the bus stop, and, and, and go there. And um, you, you do um, enjoy it. It gets people involved in activities. It gets them socialising because. I think in, in, in care homes and nursing homes, people can become a bit withdrawn and isolated and hide away in the rooms. To have an activity that brings them out into the communal areas, yeah. gets them engaged with the other residents, it's, it, it kind of obviously helps with their, their confidence and their, yeah, you know, and their social skills and it's really important so, you know, that they don't become isolated. Yeah. Because once they, once they kind of become isolated, it's very difficult it's then, isn't it? It's hard to get them back out. If you've got problems going on inside your head and you're concentrating on your work, you just focus on your work and it goes away, it leaves you alone. So you don't have to worry about it, you know. And it gives you purpose, you feel happy then, because you've, you've coped, you've done something good. You've coped and, you know, it doesn't get the better of you, you know. The only reason why we've joined the reading groups at the time was because they had problems, had issues, and that's when I got involved, and that's how it started. And then it was clear, we said, uh, does anyone want to help out the readers' organisation? And I went, yeah. And so I said, what do I need to do? I think it's just changed my life, really.